Hi, Eric and Esther. I'm here at 1406 San Pablo Avenue, Unit B in Berkeley. Um, this is a Main Street San Pablo, so it's a little busy. Um, the unit that uh, is of interest is actually in the back, so you don't hear this uh, noise, which is good. But it is on a really um, uh, popular street in terms of uh, dining options uh, as well as some, some shopping. Um, so overall, a good location. Um, you already saw the notes, and I know you've seen this property for a while, but it's uh, new, built in 2006, and um, pretty modern. And then as we walk in here, you can see how private it is. Um, you have your own parking, uh, which is protected away from the street, which is nice. And then your unit is on the second floor, on the end. Um, so not just uh, further away from the street, but also just you have more privacy in general. So here we are at the unit to the right. Uh, and really nice. Same consistent feel of all the ones that you pointed out, but um, you know, got higher ceilings, so it feels a little bit more big and open. And again, another open layout here. And then this extension, high windows uh, going up to the patio makes the room feel even bigger. And then you can see, hopefully you can um, see through some of the light distortion on the video, but you got a great view. Higher, a bit higher a view of the hills uh, to your right. Um, so the patio area is nice for entertaining and it's pretty big. But as the only outdoor living space uh, for the unit. Okay, so moving on to the uh, dining here and then the kitchen. Um, you're really not gonna have to do too much. Um, no work at all, really. And again, everything is new, built in 2006. Um, and Esther, just in case you haven't seen any of these videos in a while, if I'm moving fast, you can pause the video and then look up, down, left, and right on YouTube. So, a new kitchen, I'm sorry, new bathroom. And here is the heater. And then some storage here. Um, sorry. Your washer and dryer. All right. Put a little nook here for a desk. Um, most likely that's from the staging, but good idea. And then upstairs is the bedrooms. Again, super high vaulted ceilings. So let's see, we'll go to the first bedroom, the smaller one. Uh, and really good closet space. Sorry. Uh, and then you're a little bit higher, so you have a better view from up here. Um, this room is more of the street, so nothing exciting, but there's a little bit... Um, I'm sorry. I was gonna say... You could hear, but you can, but that is a, um, looks like a daycare or preschool down there. Um, so you can hear a little bit of the kids' noise, but you probably only hear it during uh, recess. Okay, and then the bathroom. So a really nice bathroom. And you got your modern tub and um, all glass shower, large mirror. It's very clean. And then the one downside here is that uh, the master bath uh, bedroom does not connect to the bathroom. But this is a really big master bedroom. It's really deep. And then this is going to have the best view of all of um, the uh, property. So to your right, you can see the hills. Um, and finally, the fog is burning off. So... And again, second story here in the bedroom, you're higher. So great view. And then you have um, a walk-in closet for Esther. 
So you do have a little window here. Um, normally it'd be kind of weird to have a window going into your bedroom, but it, uh, as you can see, it's because of the stairwell, so no one's ever gonna be able to see in. Okay, that's it. Again, a really nice property. Um, the one thing about this listing is that even though it was a price reduction, or I'm sorry, a price increase, the reason is because um, they have moved it to a transparent pricing. So um, at the end of the day, uh, they are asking for $8.98, and that's what you can have this for. Um, most of what's happening in Oakland and Berkeley, as we saw in a previous couple opportunities, is that they set the price really low and then get multiple bids. Um, so um, this, in this particular case, that's what they tried to do, putting it at $749. It looks like comps in the area are around um, the asking price right now, and you can get a sense for that just by looking at the Zestimate on Zillow. Um, so they're really asking uh, you know, what uh, appears to be comps in the area. Uh, however, it does uh, feel a little bit on the, on the high side. Um, but again, you're paying for here um, all the newness uh, and uh, high-end finishes. And then for Berkeley, uh, this is a new development uh, built in the 2006, so it's a little rare. Uh, and then you've got the privacy for the parking. Uh, so all in all, uh, there is a little bit of a premium for that. So uh, I'll recap this and I'll probably talk to you, Eric, um, later on today after I talk to the agent to get a sense for if there's any room below what they just recently adjusted the price to. Uh, okay, I'll see you on email. Thanks.